so many layers. What's happening, film friends? Dave the Film Junkie here. All right. Finally going to give out my uh, theory for the Joker movie, which just uh, I love the fact that it's killing it at the box office. I hope it reaches a billion. People are loving it. And uh, yeah, people are still discussing it because, you know, there's so much there's so much takeaway with this movie, you know, and the way that it it plays out, the way that it ends specifically has a lot of people scratching their heads. And I was just kind of like, okay, I saw it twice. And a lot could be seen the second time because you're kind of just looking for different... You're just looking for anything that could just be like, okay, something, something's got to give here, okay? There's got to be something that's going to give me a hint. And even like things where when I watched the first time, I kind of go like, well, why did... Well, maybe because of that. So, all right, guys, you ready for my theory? Huh? You ready? How about this? Bruce. Wayne. Parents got killed. Instead of using that rage and that guilt to become Batman, he became a Joker. <laughs> Arthur Fleck is Bruce Wayne, who went insane. Grew up and became an insane person. Came up with little stories, little jokes, little stuff he wrote in a journal. He talked to people. Locked up. Yeah, I know. It sounds fucking stupid. But you know what backs up this theory a little bit? What backs it up is all the convenience that are that, that's within this movie. Specifically, when he walks up to Wayne Manor. I mean, he walks up to Wayne Manor. He can literally peek, peek over the wall and see little Bruce playing. And then he was able to even touch Bruce and, like, try to make him put a smile on his face. Similar to when we first see Arthur Fleck. Oh yeah, not to mention the color scheme of their uh, clothes. Very similar. Notice that? I'll even raise you. Dante Olsen, who played young Bruce Wayne. Played young Joaquin Phoenix and you were never really here. <laughs> yeah, I mean... Come on. Come on. That's a little weird, right? That they cast young Bruce Wayne who played young Joaquin Phoenix in another movie. I mean that's that's just that's just interesting. I mean, I could I, it could be completely wrong. That's what I love about this movie. Is you could take it away. Is like is it real? Is it not? Is a lot in his head? Well, then of course there was like screenshots going around that that everything was at like eleven eleven. Um, anytime you saw a clock, it was at eleven eleven. So there's just like weird little things like that. I got to see it again, but I'm I, I would not be surprised, especially at the end when he's laughing with a different social worker. By the way who looks more modern than the last one. And he's just laughing, and he's, and then all of a sudden you see that, that pullback shot of Bruce with his dead parents, and then he just says, like, hey, you know, just a joke. You wouldn't understand it. And then not to mention when he walks out, and not to mention just, th does the, the, the color palette look a little brighter? That's just me? I'm going to die on this hill. That's why I'm like, how could there be a sequel if, they, if that's what they were really going for? It's just... It almost feels like, yeah, like it was all just in his head. And this is actually a young Bruce Wayne who has this made up name. And, <laughs> and the fact that the initials and the last name spells A Fleck. Remember when, remember this? We were supposedly going to, the 66 Batmobile was on set. Did Todd Phillips just cut it out because it was too close to the nose? Because that was my theory after seeing that was like, okay, he's mimicking? What is it? There's already like, there's a Batman TV show or blah, I don't know. But then again, that would just be like the fact that Bruce Wayne doesn't really, I don't know. There's just so much you could take away from this. It's just interesting. But I mean, yeah, that's just, that's just what I have right there. It's probably wrong. But what do you think, guys? Let me know your thoughts about it down below. Okay? <laughs> I know. You're going to look at this movie a whole different way when you watch it again. Hit that like, thumbs up button if you'd be so kind. Subscribe to my channel at filmjunkie.com for all my content. Follow me in the sock meds over there, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Shirts down below like this one, Film Junkie shirt. And then, of course, Patreon if you want to help out. All right, guys. Talk to you later.